Chapter 36 Job 36, 1-33 1, 2 Elihu maintains that afflictions are to the godly disciplinary, in order to lead them to attain a higher moral worth, and that the reason for their continuance is not, as the friends asserted, on account of the sufferer's extraordinary guilt, but because the discipline has not yet attained its object, namely, to lend him to humble himself penitently before God, Isaiah 9, 13, Jeremiah 5, 3. This is Elihu's fourth speech. He thus exceeds the ternary number of the others. Hence his formula of politeness, Job 36, 2. Literally, wait yet but a little for me. Bear with me a little farther. I have yet, much, Job 32, 18 to 20. There are childisms in this verse, agreeably to the view that the scene of the book is near the Euphrates and the Chaldees. 3. From afar, not trite commonplaces, but drawn from God's mighty works. Ascribe righteousness, whereas Job ascribed unrighteousness, Job 34, 10, 12. A man, in inquiring into God's ways, should at the outset presume they are all just, be willing to find them so, and expect that the result of investigation will prove them to be so, such a one will never be disappointed, Barnes. 4. I will not speak wickedly for God, as the friends, Job 13, 4, 7, 8, that is, vindicate God by unsound arguments. He that is perfect, etc. Rather, as the parallelism requires, a man of integrity in sentiments is with thee, is he with whom thou hast to do. Elihu means himself, as opposed to the dishonest reasonings of the friends, Job 21, 34. 5. Rather, strength of understanding, heart, the force of the repetition of mighty, as mighty as God is, none is too low to be despised by him, for his might lies especially in his strength of understanding, whereby he searches out the most minute things, so as to give to each his right. Elihu confirms his exhortation, Job 35, 14. 6. Right. Poor. He espouses the cause of the afflicted. 7. 1 Peter 3, 12. God does not forsake the godly, as Job implied, but establishes, or makes them sit on the throne as kings, 1 Samuel 2, 8, Psalms 113, 7, 8. True of believers in the highest sense, already in part, 1 Peter 2, 9, Revelation 1, 6, hereafter fully, Revelation 5, 10, Job 22, 5. And they are, that they may be. 8 to 10. If they be afflicted, it is no proof that they are hypocrites, as the friends maintain, or that God disregards them, and is indifferent whether men are good or bad, as Job asserts. God is there by disciplining them, and showing them their sins, and if they bow in a right spirit under God's visiting hand, the greatest blessings ensue. 9. Work, transgression. That. Exceeded, in that they behaved themselves mightily, literally, great, that is, presumptuously, or, at least, self-confidently. 10. Job 33, 16-18. 23. 11. Serve, that is, worship, as in Isaiah 19, 23. God is to be supplied, compare Isaiah 1, 19, 20. 12. Job 33, 18. Without knowledge, that is, on account of their foolishness, Job 4, 20, 21. 13 to 15. Same sentiment as Job 36. 11, 12, expanded. Hypocrites, or, the ungodly, more euro, but hypocrites is perhaps a distinct class from the openly wicked, Job 36, 12. Heap up wrath, of God against themselves, Romans 2, 5. Umbriot translates, nourish their wrath against God, instead of crying unto him. This suits well the parallelism and the Hebrew but the English version gives a good parallelism, hypocrites answering to cry not, Job 27, 8, 
10. Heap up wrath against themselves, to he bindeth them with fetters of affliction, Job 36, 8. 14. Rather, Deuteronomy 23, 17, their life is, ended, as that of, literally, among, the unclean, prematurely and dishonorably. So the second clause answers to the first. A warning that Job make not common cause with the wicked, Job 34, 36. 15. Poor, the afflicted pious. Openeth. Ears, Job 36, 10, so as to be admonished in their straits, oppression, to seek God penitently, and so be delivered, Job 33, 16, 17, 23 to 27. 16. Rather, he will lead forth thee also out of the jaws of a strait, Psalms 18, 19, 118, 5. Broad place, expresses the liberty, and the well supplied table the abundance of the prosperous, Psalms 23, 5, Isaiah 25, 6. 17. Rather, but if thou art fulfilled, that is, entirely filled, with the judgment of the wicked, that is, the guilt incurring judgment, more ura, or rather, as umbreet, referring to Job 34, 5 to 7, 36, the judgment pronounced on God by the guilty in misfortunes, judgment, God's judgment on the wicked, Jeremiah 51, 9, playing on the double meaning of judgment, and justice shall closely follow each other, umbreet. 18. Numbers 16, 45, Psalms 49, 6, 7, Matthew 16, 26. Even the ransom by Jesus Christ, Job 33, 24, will be of no avail to willful despisers, Hebrews 10, 26 to 29. With his stroke, Job 34, 26. Umbreet translates, Beware lest the wrath of God, thy severe calamity, lead thee to scorn, Job 34, 7, 27, 23. This accords better with the verb in the parallel clause, which ought to be translated, Let not the great ransom, of money, which thou canst give, seduce thee, margin, turn thee aside, as if thou couldst deliver thyself from wrath by it. As the scorn in the first clause answers to the judgment of the wicked, Job 36, 17, so ransom, seduce, to will he esteem riches, Job 36, 19. Thus, Job 36, 18 is the transition between Job 36, 17 and Job 36, 19. 19. Forces of strength, that is, resources of wealth, Psalms 49, 7, Proverbs 11, 4. 20. Desire, pant for. Job had wished for death, Job 3, 3 to 9, etc. Night. John 9, 4. When, rather, whereby. Cut off, literally, ascend, as the corn cut and lifted upon the wagon or stack, Job 36, 26, so cut off, disappear. In their place, literally, under themselves, so, without moving from their place, on the spot, suddenly, Job 40, 12, more euro. Umbreet's translation, to ascend, which is really, as thou wilt find to thy cost, to descend, to the people below, literally, under themselves, answers better to the parallelism and the Hebrew. Thou pantest for death as desirable, but it is a night or region of darkness, thy fancied ascent, amelioration, will prove a descent, deterioration, Job 10, 22, therefore desire it not. 21. Regard, literally, turn thyself to iniquity, namely, presumptuous speaking against God, Job 34, 5, and above, see on Job 36, 17, 18. Rather than, to bear affliction with pious patience. Men think it an alleviation to complain against God, but this is adding sin to sorrow, it is sin, not sorrow, which can really hurt us, contrast Hebrews 11, 25. 22-25. 
God is not to be impiously arraigned, but to be praised for his might, shown in his works. Exalteth, rather, doeth lofty things, shows his exalted power, Ambriet, Psalms 21, 13. Teacheth, Psalms 94, 12, etc. The connection is, returning to Job 36, 5. God's might is shown in his wisdom, he alone can teach, yet, because he, as a sovereign, explains not all his dealings, forsooth Job must presume to teach him, Isaiah 40, 13, 14, Romans 11, 34, 1 Corinthians 2, 16. So the transition to Job 36, 23 is natural. Umbriate with the Septuagint translates, who is Lord, wrongly as this meaning belongs to later Hebrew. 23. Job dared to prescribe to God what he should do, Job 34, 10, 13. 24. Instead of arraigning, let it be thy fixed principle to magnify God in his works, Psalms 111, 2-8, Revelation 15, 3. These, which all may see, may convince us that what we do not see is altogether wise and good. Romans 1, 20. Behold, as C, Job 36, 25, shows, not, as more Eura, sing, Lord, see on Job 33, 27. 25. See, namely, with wondering admiration, more Eura. Man may behold, rather, yet, mortals, a different Hebrew word from man, behold it, only, from afar off see but a small part, Job 26, 14, 26, Job 37, 13. God's greatness in heaven and earth, a reason why Job should bow under his afflicting hand. Know him not, only in part, Job 36, 25, 1 Corinthians 13, 12. His years, Psalms 90, 2, 102, 24, 27, applied to Jesus Christ, Hebrews 1, 12, 27, 28. The marvelous formation of rain, so Job 5, 9, 10. Maketh small, rather, he draweth, up, to him, he attracts, from the earth below, the drops of water, they, the drops of water, pour down rain, which is, his vapor, Vapor is in apposition with rain, marking the way in which rain is formed, namely, from the vapor drawn up by God into the air and then condensed into drops, which fall, Psalms 147, 8. The suspension of such a mass of water, and its descent not in a deluge, but in drops of vapory rain, are the marvel. The selection of this particular illustration of God's greatness forms a fit prelude to the storm in which God appears. Job 40, 1. 28. Abundantly, literally, upon many men. 29. Job 37, 5. God's marvels in thunder and lightnings. Spreadings, etc. The canopy of thick clouds, which covers the heavens in a storm, Psalms 105, 39. The noise, crashing, namely, thunder. Of his tabernacle, God being poetically said to have his pavilion amid dark clouds, Psalms 18, 11, Isaiah 40, 22, 30. Light, lightning. It, his tabernacle, Job 36, 29. The light, in an instant spread over the vast mass of dark clouds, forms a striking picture. Spread, is repeated from Job 36, 29 to form an antithesis. He spreads not only clouds, but light. Covereth the bottom, roots. Of the sea, namely, with the light. In the storm the depths of ocean are laid bare, and the light covers them, at the same moment that it spreads across the dark sky. So in Psalms 18, 14, 15, the discovering of the channels of waters follows the lightnings. Umbriet translates, he spreadeth his light upon himself and covereth himself with the roots of the sea, Psalms 104, 2.
God's garment is woven of celestial light and of the watery depths, raised to the sky to form his cloudy canopy. The phrase, cover himself with the roots of the sea, is harsh, but the image is grand. 31. These, rain and lightnings, are marvelous and not to be understood, Job 36, 29, yet necessary. For by them he judgeth, chastiseth on the one hand, etc. And on the other, by them, he giveth meat, food, etc. Job 37, 13, 38, 23, 27, Acts 14, 17. 32. Rather, he covereth, both, his hands with light, lightning, Job 37, 3, margin, and giveth it a command against his adversary, literally, the one assailing him, Psalms 8, 2, 139, 20, Job 21, 19. Thus, as in Job 36, 31, the twofold effects of his waters are set forth, so here, of his light, in the one hand, destructive lightning against the wicked, in the other, the genial light for good to his friends, etc. Job 36, 33, Umbriate. 33. Noise, rather, he revealeth it, literally, announceth concerning it, to his friend, antithesis to adversary, Job 36, 32, so the Hebrew is translated, Job 2, 11, also to cattle and plants, literally, that which shooteth up, Genesis 40, 10, 41, 22, as the genial effect of water in the growth of food, is mentioned, Job 36, 31, so here that of light in cherishing cattle and plants, umbriate. If English version, noise be retained, translate, his noise, thunder, announces concerning him, his coming in the tempest, the cattle, to announce, concerning him when he is in the act of rising up, in the storm. Some animals give various intimations that they are sensible of the approach of a storm, Virgil, Georgics, I.373, etc.